are going to be seeing non G, aka light. Oh, it looks like it actually says light on the screen now. So it still says non G on the VOD though. Whatever, I'm gonna call him light as always. And he will be playing against the most handsome Paradox, of course, Stork. Coming out in set three, gonna stave off the 3 0. And there he is in his big uh, jacket. Now, hold on. Actually, by the way, guys, by the way, so whenever, like, I always see, so before I went to Korea, right, I, people would always be look at look at this and be like, oh, why are they wearing such, like, a big jacket in the booth? But actually, it's like a big open air stadium, and it's like, like, the doors are all kept open, and, and so, like, all the cold air comes in from outside, so it's actually not that hot in the arena. It's actually not that hot. Like, it's an okay temperature, but you can keep your jacket on and stuff. So, it actually is not as crazy as it seems. <clears throat> Although, when, when, if you're standing there for, like, four hours in, in the middle of, like, a packed studio, it does get kind of steamy, though. Anyway. So this side of the map is going to be Jade. Uh, so I do predict perhaps a 12 next from Stork. And it seems that uh, Mustadio has gone back to setting his house on fire. And is is making all these lovely clanking noises. That's Mustadio, guys. I, th I think he's cooking something, actually. He said he had something in the oven. He's a master chef, apparently, in his spare time. Like, when when he's not writing for TL, he moonlights as Gordon Ramsay. It's pretty awesome, actually. So we're going to have cross-map spawns, which means if Stork decides to uh, 12 next, it will be quite nice for him. And looks like somebody's asking for a 3-0. So presumably that is a Stars fan, which means he is a terrible person, rooting, for, uh, rooting against Khan, rather. Uh, he probably like kicks puppies as well. <coughs> anyway, pylon in the main base. Good stuff. Good times. And what are these stats on the bottom right? These are nonsensical stats. Now stars is two seven and con is four three. Musashi said they might be the map stats. So I guess that could be true. Huh. <clears throat> oh, Supernova Maniac. Oh, Supernova Maniac is translating. He said that sign said that the guy was a school teacher, and if Stars goes 3 0, he won't grade summer homework. Winter homework. Huh. Man. Alright, back. Dude, we just saw a terrible teacher. He's teaching kids to root for Stars over Khan. Like, what a bad person. And it looks like it is going to be a 12 next, as predicted. Booyah. Is he going to do as well as Mini? That's the question. Well, at least it's a PVT, so this kind of makes sense. Also, that barracks, I feel like, might be mannering the command center for light. I hope not, but I think it is. And is this going to be a cross-map scout? Indeed it is. So, let's see what I can do about this. It looks like he's just going for a one rax expand himself. Uh, so the 12 next will be quite effective against that. And... Yeah, I mean, you said it best, you know, Light's TPP is not amazing. Definitely uh, the underdog in this matchup. But if Sork loses... Uh, well, I mean, okay, let's, let's put it this way. Effort lost to Mini in Game 3 <laughs> of the last one, so you know what? I'm, I'm not even going to try and guess what's going to happen. Oh no, he did the cross map scout. Oh, because of the scout timing. Poor Light is going to scout the 12 next as slow as possible. Oh wow, he's going to be so sad. I wonder if he'll guess that it's a 12 next though, fr from the weird timing. Because like, I've seen this happen so many times to pro gamer, like in, in this situation in PVT, in 12 next, it's like... I wonder if he can actually tell just from the scout timings. 
그냥 땡더블을 했는데 음. 원터치가 됐고 이재호 선수 ESG는 엑스맨. Well, uh, you said something peculiar. He's going to be so sad. How can you tell with light? I mean, the guy only has one expression. No more, no less, just one. Even his teammates can <laughs> continue saying that. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit distracted because there's this beeping noise. That's my fire alarm. Okay, guys, guys, while while there's a little bit of calm right now, I need to ask for your advice because I have like one fire alarm that's run on batteries, right? And I fix that one, and then this one that's beeping right now is plugged into the mains. It's not even running on batteries, so I don't understand why it's beeping at me and then I like tried to take it like I tried to take it off yesterday but first of all it's like really high on the ceiling so I had to stand on a chair and it wouldn't come off so I like kept I like jammed a screwdriver in and like tried to pry it off because apparently that's what you're supposed to do and it just would not come off so I just can't figure out how to make this thing be quiet it's very frustrating so that's my story if anybody has any advice that would, that would be amazing <laughs> Mm, isn't it supposed to be like... Uh, in my house, they're screwed on, in a way. Like, um... Not to... Dude, this one has, like, instructions on the side. It's like... It, it literally says, put a screwdriver in here and, like, pry off the lid. And I tried that, and it wouldn't come off, and I, like, wore away all the plastic. So now it's not gonna ever come off. So I'm actually not sure what to do about this. Are you sure you used the lid... Uh, you pried the lid part? Because sometimes it's really hard to tell which part is the lid and which part is like some kind of other type of exterior. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I'm just gonna like, eventually I'll just get so frustrated, I'll just break it or something, I don't. Whatever, it's fine. Brood War! And for some reason, fire alarms. Most yeah, exciting cost ever. Dude, it's probably because like somebody's building fire bats in my mineral line and this fire alarm is like trying to warn me. It's like trying its hardest to save all my probes and I'm just ignoring it because I'm a terrible person. I kind of stopped the fire in my house already so it can't be my house either. Nice, nice. <clears throat> it seems we're not that connected after all. <coughs> so, anyway, uh, I mean, we have nothing particularly fancy going on in the game. Light didn't try and punish the Toldnix at all because he couldn't really cross map uh, having gone for one Rax FB. He's just going to follow up with two factories with machine shops, and Sork's going to follow up with uh, two gateways, observers, and what looks like a relatively quick third base, although he hasn't taken it just yet. Uh, he's going for reavers as well. And there is the reaver, so Sork doing his, uh, his favorite build, basically. He's got two zealots as well coming out. Look at that beautiful timing, getting zealots out just uh, as the reaver is departing. And let's see how good his uh, reaver control is. Stork, of course, known for having pretty good reaver control. Oh, sp Spotted by the vultures. Wow, that was very lucky for light there. Oh man, poor stork. Although, uh oh, wait, is there no anti air? Nope, not yet, at least. Uh -oh. He suspected Dark Templar, I think. Uh oh. Mines! Mines, mines, mines! Oh man, could you imagine if he drops a goon in the SCVs and the mine goes off and everything? Yes, I could. Uh, no. Nice shot. Still no. Wait, is there still no anti air? Where's the turret? There must be turrets in the main. Wait, really? No turrets in the main? Oh my god. The engineering bay probably just finished. Uh, uh, Nebo! Oh no, they're stacked! They're stacked! Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh. Sail transforms into Korean caster uh. once Stork is playing. This is awesome. Dude. That Reaver. Oh man, see he even got shuttle speed. Oh, this is so good. Dude, I love I love watching SCVs get owned by scarabs. So is Cal your favorite player or your second favorite player? Cal? Yeah. Uh he's not he's not even like top five, man. He's not even top five. 
Actually, I don't know. These reviewers are so disappointed. Dude, besides like Stork and Zero and now Roro, I don't really... Everyone else is kind of okay. I guess I like movie, kind of. No comments. Just... You just killed taste. You're effectively tasteless only in Brood War. I'm a, dude, I can live with that, man. Being the taste, the new tasteless. I'm like being the neo-tasteless. That means you have to cannon rush like every second game, you know that. <laughs> you, you clearly have not watched many of my ladder sessions and the absurd amount of cannons I built. <laughs> anyway, oh, let's see how good the Reaver is. Oh, is he going to find a hole? He's going to go in. And it looks like... Uh, are there... No, there's a turret in the main. He can kill some of these SCBs making factories. Oh, no, there's no turrets back here. Uh, Debo! It's a dud. No, no, no! Oh. <laughs> oh, no, but there's another hole in the back. There's another hole in the back. They're stacking! They're stacking! No! There's I can't imagine one. what your neighbors another must one. be thinking. What the hell? God damn! Oh, shoot again. Oh my god, they're stacking this time. Stacking! Scarabs! Fuck! Why are these scarabs so bad? Oh my god. These scarabs. Stork must have got them made in China or something. Jesus. <laughs> Holy. Ugh. And he does the reaver. I just can't imagine all your neighbors going like, what the fuck, someone, someone nearby is screaming, there's a hole in the back, there's a hole in the back, it's back. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that is, that is an interesting observation. It's alright, it's exactly how it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like, oh, one guy, oh, no, he's fixed. Three guys on gas now. And, oh my god, Stork, he had, he got so many scarabs off, but nice, nice SCV pulls by light, and, uh, that is quite sad. Anyway, let's say we got double forges from Stork, he is taking a fourth base as well. Um, so we are just going to go into a uh, nice long game here. Now, uh... He's still 30 supply ahead, so I really wouldn't say Stork is in that much trouble. I, hold on, wait. The last PVT Stork played, though, didn't he lose to some... Who did he lose to? I think he lost his last PVT. It was on this Fantasy? map as well. Oh, yeah. It was against Fantasy. This was like the exact same situation, right? So Fantasy turtle up on three bases. Stork went up to like six bases. And then there was like one huge engagement in the middle of the map. Fantasy crushed him and then just proceeded to win the game from there. It was so sad. So hopefully Stork can engage a little bit better this time. Uh, although I guess Light's pushing mechanics aren't exactly amazing, so I'm not too worried. As much as it is like fantasy, Light is no fantasy in TVP. Indeed, he is not. Stork Meemaw has taken the top right base. Going up to five bases, going to start adding some gateways there when he can afford it. And he'll be good to go. Looks like uh, Observer is pointing out plus one's finished, and now the second armory is being added. Looks like uh, Vulture Guy is going to scout the top right. But there's not too much he can do about it just yet. Is that really a good placement for the armory? I mean, large army movements will be largely constricted. Yeah, I actually didn't pay attention to the exact position. I mean, I like that he's building them at the natural, so he doesn't get recalled and loses his upgrades, but... Um, yeah, I'll have a look at that again in a bit. And it looks like... Oh! Man, mines are so good. Oh god, man, I the one ladder game I played today before the cast... This, did you see, were you watching that? That sick mine? that I dragged yep. into the middle of my army. <laughs> oh man, I was like trying to be all fancy and shit and like split out the goons so they wouldn't get splashed and instead I just inadvertently blew up my entire army. Ah, oh, God. Spider mines are pretty damn good. And they can't even dud, like how is that fair? You can't dud a spider mine. It just goes back into the ground if it can't kill anything. 
Uh, could you could you can't imagine? Kill your own unit. Scarabs don't do that. Dude, could you imagine if scarabs just like if they can't figure out how to kill a unit, they just go back into the reaver? Like how awesome that would be. <laughs> and you just like pick up the reaver and the scarabs just like running along the ground trying to chase you. It's like one of those movies where the dog is running by the train. It's like trying to catch up to its master. It just doesn't understand that it can't catch up to the train. Oh, that'd be so cute. Hmm. So, what we need to do, in summary, would be to first make a silent movie about StarCraft that would be black and white, <laughs> and there would be a scarab running back yeah, dude, to the Yeah, that would be like the story. It'd be like one of those touching, you know, movies about pets or whatever. There's been like a few movies like that recently. Would the scarab be on a train or a shuttle? Well, no, you, like, the Reaver would be in the shuttle flying away, and the Scarab would be trying to chase it, like, no, don't go! <laughs> you know? Like, the, the, the I can imagine how infuriating that would be for the player. Like, he, sh he pu uh, puts the Scarab down, it flies a distance, he picks the Reaver up, and then the Scarab follow follows the shuttle, and then it blows up. Or something. Hey man, I think that would be better than getting it dudded all the time. Dud, dud scares are just so sad. Anyway, looks and like another dragoon dust. Yeah, I mean, Lice is trying to do some reaver, uh, some light vulture harass rather, uh, until he pushes out. Um, the vultures are more kind of expendable. He just needs to get the crucial number of siege tanks and then he can move out. It uh, looks like 1 1 is finished for Stork. Stork uh, making sure to get his upgrades. Nice. And I think Light is getting ready to move out now. He's at 180 supply, and there we go. Here comes the Terran army rolling out. Now, how good are his push mechanics going to be? Uh, I am quite nervous for Stork here. This is how he lost last time. Just didn't quite engage correctly. Uh, you know, didn't have enough spells thrown down, and just got completely rolled. He even has six bases again. Indeed, this he is like the exact same situation, and looks like he's just actually just going to recall now. He's actually not going to try and engage straight up at all, and there's the recall onto Light's third base. The Arbiter barely not making it, uh, forcing Light to actually pull his army back. I think this is a very interesting decision by Stork to actually go for this and uh, force the army back. This is actually perfect timing too. As soon as the army started moving out, he went for the recall. Very, very nice. And looks like all the gateways getting up in the top right as well, so I think now Stork should be in a pretty good position. Looks like another Arbiter getting ready to go recall again if Light tries to move out. Both players going down in supply, although Stork will be able to replenish, uh, or should be able to replenish more easily than Light, although he is significantly behind in supply now. Well, not significantly, but a little bit. How many Stargates does Stork have? Uh, he has to reproduce those Arbiters at some point in time. Wait a minute, Stork. Stork does not have... I swear to god if Stork loses this game. Stork. Stork. You're making me nervous. Oh! Six stasis! Oh my god, that is an awesome stasis. He got like six siege tanks and a goliath there. Is it enough though? Why is, he, why is his army so small? He's got like 80 gateways. Why is he not producing quickly? I don't understand. He should be able to remax in like three rounds. He's actually behind in supply. Yeah, exactly. He should be able to remax in like three rounds. It sh he should be always maxed. I don't understand. Look at look at his minerals and gas. Holy crap! What the fuck, Stork? Why is he not making stuff? Okay. Oh no. Nice nice engagement here. Getting those elves in range of the siege tanks. Uh, gonna be cost efficient, but still can't engage. And. Uh, I mean, it's not as bad as it was against Fantasy, but this is looking ridiculously similar. Ring. Oh, that is a good move, though. Storming down all of those vultures, uh, taking down the crucial support units for the tanks. Oh, another nice storm as well, and he is actually doing a nice job of whittling away this army. It uh, looks like his Arbiter, uh, that might have been going for another recall, does get EMP. Good reaction by Light, and Stork finally feels like he can engage, going to catch some of these reinforcing tanks. It looks like Stork will be able to hold on this time. The situation is looking a lot better than uh, his game against Fantasy. I mean... It's kind of similar, but he's got all his extra gateways up, and the push has been whittled down quite a bit here. So I think Stork can hold on here, just barely. He needs to make more gateways, though. 
he really isn't spending his money well. I know, what is he doing? Oh, nice bombs. Oh, if you can get that mine off, that would be amazing as well. Looks like it's going to run out. Nice storm as well on the clumped siege tanks. Very, very nice uh, moves here by Stork. And Light realizes that he is in a little bit of trouble. Random High Templar going to do some storming as well. And meanwhile... We, ju we just realized shit got serious. Light raising the eyebrow. Oh, my God. Like, hmm. I should probably have a reaction here. <laughs> he was just contemplating what his face should look like while getting crushed by, by Stork. Anyway, Stork now is back in the supply lead, about 30 supply ahead. And, yep, this is going to be very difficult now. That is a lot of SEVs. I wish there was a High Templar there. Or a Reaver. Or an Archon. Yeah. Uh, Archons would be or so even, sick Or even a Spider Mine or two. Or even a Spider Mine and a random Predos unit would also be quite pretty. Is he distance mining? Uh, apparently so. Did he not have like, a command center that was like on fire over there? Anyway, he's down like 60 hey. supply now, so Stork is finally, you know, massing up units as he should be. And now it's basically time to wait for light to GG. Unless Stork somehow completely blows this game some. Uh, I, I have no idea how we would do that. I guess running into siege tanks would kind of help. And it looks like he's going to do just that here. Do we have another good stasis? No! Nice EMP on the two Arbiters, but it looks like the uh, Arbiter in the back does get another stasis off on three siege tanks, and Stork does have enough zealots to uh, bust through here. Or wait, maybe not. It's going to be close. It's going to be very close here, but I mean, unit trades even like this are very good for the Pronos. And no, it looks like Stork will come out ahead in this engagement. Light now down to sub 100 supply. Stork up at 126. Looks like Light is going to retreat all of his SCVs. And Stork will be able to reproduce quite easily. Or should be. I have no idea why he doesn't macro. Dude, macroing. Did you, did you just see his mineral count dropped like by like 2,000 minerals? <laughs> yeah, he probably like just queued up a bunch of units in like every game. No, because actually that's probably how many gateways he has, right? Because like, what, 2,000 minerals is just 20 zealots. And I'm pretty sure he has at least 20 gateways. Storm! Oh! That's what I'm talking about. So, I mean, Light's kind of got a 630 base up now, but, yeah, oh, oh, here we go, Storm, oh, baby, Wait, That's wait, wait, is that about. an observer over a turret? Is that legal? Um, no, I don't think so, but... <laughs> it's possible that the turret was built under the observer, that has happened before, to Stork, actually, um, so I actually don't know. Hmm. I know in TSL it was illegal, and on IC Cup it's considered illegal. Actually, they, they legalized it on IC Cup. GG! But I'm pretty sure that's not... Legal in just, Pro League. Just would be so retarded for Stork to get disqualified this game for that. <laughs> yeah, but I think I think what happened was he had the Observer there and the turret was built under it, so it's fine. Because I know that happened to him before as well. Um, but you can't you can't force it by moving the Observer over. You really have that machine that goes bing instead of a fire alarm, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm just trolling everybody. I'm just trying to annoy annoy the viewers. My little dinging sound. It's it's not the, it's actually not the fire line. It's just the Monty Python reference. <laughs> everyone who doesn't get it is just not cultured. <laughs> Seriously, guys, they are uncultured plebeians. So, uh, let me go get the next vod. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Alright, are you ready with the VOD? Oh wait, actually I have to wait for this ad to go away. 
I don't have an ad. Oh, hey, you. But what? DM. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Three? Mm hmm. You're supposed to continue counting now. What? Three. Oh. I thought you said free, like the player. Because <laughs> he's playing now, I'm like, what? Alright, three, two, one, go. Un go. So, ladies and gentlemen, set number three is going to be pre